In this video, we'll be defining what we mean by the term texture in music, and we'll also explore some examples to help develop the understanding of how we use these different types of textures. Firstly, what do we mean by the word texture? Well, texture is just how many instruments are playing at the same time, and what are they doing? The terms that we use are made of two parts. For example, monophonic. Mono just means one, and phonic means sound. So monophonic music has one sound. Great, so let's delve a little deeper into monophonic music. This really just means one melody being played by itself. That melody doesn't have to be played on one instrument. It could be multiple instruments or voices singing it, but it's just the one tune. And it could be in different octaves, but it's just one tune. Let's hear an example. Here we are, here we stand. I'm your rock, you're my homeland. The only slightly tricky thing when trying to identify monophonic music is that there might be a drum beat there. But because the drums aren't playing any note pitches, they're not really playing a tune. So it's still monophonic. Let's have a listen to that. The drum beat playing. A single voice singing. Here we are, here we stand. I'm your rock. You're my homeland And a whistle an octave above Here we are Here we stand I'm your rock You're my homeland And a guitar playing an octave below Here we are Here we stand I'm your rock You're my homeland It's still the same tune So it's all monophonic Homophonic music. Most pop music that we listen to will be classed as homophonic music. This is really a melody being sung and some chords in the background. Just something to accompany the main melody. So you could think of this as the singer and a guitarist or a piano just playing chords in the background. Let's have a listen. Here we are, here we stand. I'm your rock, you're my homeland You will stay forevermore Love, cherish and adore and I The instrument in the background isn't really playing its own melody It's really spelling out the chords, adding support to the main melody Let's move on to polyphonic music the poly in polyphonic means many, so we have many melodies occurring at the same time. As the new instruments and melodies start to play, you'll see their names appear on screen. See if you can hear them. Maybe let's go a little overkill here and add lots and lots and lots of layers. Some homophonic, some polyphonic. Here we are, here we stand. I'm your rock, you're my homeland. You will stay forevermore. Love, cherish. Yeah. 
Or maybe that was a little excessive. We had up to 14 instruments playing there, and at any given moment, there were about seven different melodies going on, plus the homophonic layers. With a texture this thick, that's a lot of melodies to keep track of, but if you do it well, you can make it work. And lastly, let's look at heterophonic music. With heterophonic music, we'll have two or more versions of the same melody being performed at the same time, but they may have slightly different variations. In this example, we hear the lead vocal singing as we already know, but we'll hear two different acoustic guitars, one on the left and one on the right, playing their own little variations, and we'll also have a whistle doing its own interpretation too. Here we are, here we stand, I'm your rock, you're my homeland You will stay forevermore Love, cherish and adore and I And there we go. A guide to all the main types of texture we find in music, regardless of style. And as you noticed, we don't just have to stick to one type of texture in a piece of music. In fact, those changing textures are what make it exciting. So as always with music, it's not really that we have rules. We just have a language or the mechanics of how we fit things together. What we choose to do with those is up to us. 